And there's a new breed of sporting events these days. You've seen them all on television, but nothing like the one Roy Firestone attended at UCLA. All right, sports fans, that moment you've been waiting for. You've had the challenge of the celebrities, the challenge of the sexes, and now the inevitable challenge of the species. In this corner, six foot five inch, 180 pound Dwight Stones, world record holder on the high jump. They call him Hot Dog. In this corner, two foot two inch, 27 pound Ashley Whippet, world record holder in the Frisbee catch and fetch. They call him Dog. Yes, all eyes are glued on this leaping match to the finish. Could Dwight Stones take the challenge? Yes, absolutely. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in your mind? None whatsoever. There's no rain. I, I, how can I lose? Ashley has some pre-match commentary of his own. Yeah. I understand that, but uh, obviously there's got to be some movement. And so it began. Stones from a height of six feet. Ashley, shall we say, wanted to take a shortcut. <laughs> Winner by default and still champion, hot dog Dwight Stones. I told you it was no problem. I had him on misses, I think. Ashley is bitter in defeat, but he vows revenge. Mr. Whippet, you see, is a dogged competitor. So, tune in next time, sports fans. Man and his best friend battle to the finish. I'm Roy Firestone for the Channel 2 Newsroom. Two of the world's most famous athletes matched their skill at UCLA's Drake Stadium this morning in a challenge of the species. We're not quite sure how it came about, but Dwight Stones, the world indoor record holder in the high jump at seven, six and a half, was challenged by Ashley Whippet, the world champion frisbee catching dog who has soared as high as nine feet to snare a flying disc. Tension filled the air. Stones, at 6'5", 180 pounds, had a clear advantage in size over the 2 foot 2 inch, 27 pound Whippet. But Ashley is expected to compensate with speed. The catch and fetch champ has been clocked at 36 miles an hour as compared to only 17 for Dwight. He was noticeably nervous. Oh, extremely nervous. It's my first competition of the new year and uh, my competitor looks very, very ready, very streamlined. He is in shape. I tell you, things haven't been going too well for you in the past. You lost the Olympics in the rain. Now a Russian schoolboy is, is, is uh, topped your outdoor record, and now you're jumping against the dog. I know, and if he beats me here, he gets a shot at my indoor record in the Sunkiss meet. I don't, uh, I don't know how to handle this. I'm really starting to scrape the bottom here, jumping against a dog. Are you going to have to catch a Frisbee as you go over the bottom? I don't know. I can't do that in my mouth. My mouth is large enough, however. It is not trained like, uh, like Ashley's. Alex Stein is Ashley's owner, and I asked him when he discovered this talent. Okay, uh, no, on the beaches of uh, Southern California is where he started, uh, just by kept chasing the frisbee, the object, on the beach back and forth, and then jumped in the air, and when I held it, the stationary, you know, jump, and he tied the two together, and he perfected running out, catching it, and having great eye perception for the frisbee, and he's just a super dog. Are you going to demand that Stones catch the Frisbee as he goes over the high uh, jump? Well, this remains to be seen, but I, I think so, yes. The bar was then set at 6-1, and a tape extended for Ashley to try. Stones has been working out for the Sunkissed Invitational track meet set for January 21st at the sports arena. Ashley's hoping his showing today will earn an invite. But as you can see, there's a problem. While no one can question Ashley's jumping ability, he wouldn't go over the bar, preferring to wait for the Frisbee to come down underneath. Why do it the hard way, he reasoned. You could clearly see he was questioning Dwight's intelligence. So, a Frisbee was taped at a higher elevation, the bottom at the seven-foot mark. Dwight is going over 6-1, if you'll remember. Can you decide the winner? Sunkist officials couldn't either, but decided to issue Ashley an invitation anyway on the basis of his showing today. This could set a precedent and cause some problems for the AAU. Uh, I don't believe an animal would, uh, in the history of the Olympics, way back to the ancient Greeks, the animals didn't compete 
uh, against the uh, against the humans. But what kind of qualifications? Is there a chromosome test or anything like that? Well, in recent years, there's been a sex test, but I, as far as a well, chromosome test... Well, would pass test, that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It could cause a few problems, don't you think? Well, of course it could. Dwight wasn't quite sure what to make of all this, but when he heard Ashley made over $20,000 last year catching frisbees, he picked up a few pointers and decided to try it, too. Maybe he could crash the catch and fetch championship. Ashley Whippet may be the champ, but Dwight Stones is still one of sports' biggest hot dogs. <laughs> Ashley and Dwight, of course, you can see them both at the Suncast track meet. That's in January, and I got a little souvenir for you guys if you want to practice up. You know, all that money, Ashley, man, I don't know if I dare do this, okay? Uh, <laughs> no, hey. 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 I don't know, maybe we've got talent. What do you think? <laughs> there is a dog on that thing. Listen, there's money in it. I just found out. I'm practicing. Coming okay. up next, Jeff Smith.